Universal Indicator and the pH Scale by kscience.com Imagine you have three colourless solutions, solution A, solution B and solution C. How do you know which one is acidic, alkaline or neutral? To know this information we use indicators which change colour depending on the pH of the solution. We can use a pH scale to tell us how acidic, alkaline or neutral a substance is. The pH scale is from 0 to 14 and is linked to colours. We can use universal indicator paper which looks something like this, which is just paper soaked in universal indicator solution. When this universal indicator paper is dipped into the substance, the colour change tells us if a substance is acidic, alkaline or neutral. So if the colour of the universal indicator paper is red, orange or yellow, this tells us the pH is going to be between 0 to 6. This tells us the substance is an acid. Whereas if the colour change is green, this tells us the pH is 7. And this tells us the solution is neutral. The solution is neither acidic or alkaline. And if the universal indicator paper is any colour from blue to purple, this tells us the pH is from 8 to 14. So the solution is an alkali. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So to summarise what we've just learnt about the pH scale, if the pH is below 7, the solution is acidic. If the pH is 7, the solution is neutral. And if the pH is above 7, the solution is alkaline. If the pH is between 0 and 2, the universal indicator solution will be red. And the pH will be very low due to there being many hydrogen ions in the solution. Examples of acids with low pHs between 0 and 2 are hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. A solution with a pH of between 3 and 4 will cause universal indicator solution to be orange and there will be less hydrogen ions dissolved in solution. Vinegar containing ethanoic acid is an example of a substance with a pH of between 3 and 4. A pH of 5 to 6 will cause universal indicator solution to turn yellow as there are the lowest amount of hydrogen ions in solution. Black coffee and rainwater are examples of solutions which have a pH of between 5 and 6. A pH of 7 will cause universal indicator solution to be green. Pure water, which has a molecular formula of H2O, will cause universal indicator to be green. A neutral solution will have no hydrogen ions or hydroxide ions in excess. They will have all reacted to form water. A pH of 8 to 9 will cause universal indicator solution to be lighter blue. A pH of 8 to 9 will have few hydroxide ions in solution. And an example of this pH would be baking soda. A pH of 10 to 11 causes universal indicator solution to be dark blue and will have more hydroxide ions in solution compared to a pH of 8 to 9. An example of a pH of 10 to 11 could be washing powder. A pH of 12 to 14 causes universal indicator solution to be purple and this has many hydroxide ions in solution. An example of this pH would be oven cleaner. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
Although using universal indicator paper can be very effective, the problem is using colours can be very subjective. One person can say it has this pH and another person can interpret the colour as being a different pH. So an alternative is using a pH probe or pH meter which gives you exact data on a digital display like this. This digital display is much more accurate and the pH probe or pH meter can be connected to a data logger which records pH changes accurately over time. We can then use a graph to interpret the data where time is on the x-axis and pH is on the y-axis. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.